My name is Yekachi Douglas, and this is my beauty with a purpose. As a strong advocate for maintaining good personal hygiene in line with the Sustainable Development Goal 3, good health and well-being, I began to research into ways I could help contribute to creating awareness around related issues. And also providing solutions to the issues these problems might pose on the society as a whole. In my research, I observed and discovered an issue which I consider worrisome in the Makoko community. It might interest you to know that Nigeria hosts what is known as the world largest floating slum in Makoko, Lagos State. Even though this environment can be looked at as filthy and inhabitable, these people build their homes, raise families, and see it as their all. The population estimate varies wildly from 40,000 to as much as 300,000. Nobody knows. There is no credible data available. The air here is very polluted as the majority of the city's smoked fish comes from here. Waste management system here is non-existent. The water is bad and there's no proper infrastructure. It would be very difficult to nurture a proper personal hygiene in this kind of environment it would be almost impossible to contain an epidemic of Ebola in this kind of community. It could cause a serious pandemic and be a serious threat to the health of the world. I decided to initiate and partner with organizations with similar objectives to help raise awareness about the living conditions of these people and the terrible hygiene maintained due to lack of awareness and sensitization. These people are happy where they are and do not want to be taken elsewhere. Instead, they want schools and boreholes for drinkable water to be built for them. So who here does their mother tell them to brush their teeth and take a shower? All of us, even me too. So now I'm going to tell you how to wash your hands properly. This is a hand sanitizer. In the case when you don't have water, you can use this. You and then you dry it off. It's done. So I'm going to give everybody. Wait. I plan on collaborating with the Evergreen Initiative and She Builds Life on the School Rebuilding Project. I believe this is the right platform to impact my goal of creating awareness through behavior programs for these kids by infusing it with their curriculum. I would hold advocacy campaigns, crowdfundings, sensitization workshops. My main objectives are to raise funds to construct community toilets in schools across the Makoko community, sensitize the community of good hygiene practices in Makoko community, create awareness about personal hygiene through small sections and posters, collaborate with organizations with similar objectives and a focus on the Makoko community, like painting of buildings with the flying bushmen, and I plan on holding a concert in the Makoko community to raise funds for the building of these schools, where the children will be performing themselves. This project is very close to my heart because I grew up in a community similar to this. As a child from this kind of community, I never thought myself fit with my other classmates. I was privileged enough to have a mother who believed in me led me in the right direction and encouraged me to, throughout my life journey. I want to do the same for the people in this community.